Greetings, everyone, in another episode of Pile Investing. Today, we'll be going through the very famous book among the rich known as The Psychology of Money, written by Morgan Housel. The book is all about how our feelings and thoughts impact the way we handle money. Housel explores the complex interrelationship between money management and human psychology in this enlightening book. He sheds light on the prevalent prejudices, feelings, and thought patterns that affect our financial behaviors using a combination of personal finance knowledge, psychological research, and real-life stories. Financial writer Morgan Housel has a talent for simplifying difficult financial subjects. He teaches readers how to handle their money wisely through his articles. Whether one is an amateur investor or a financial expert, Morgan's tales and observations make money concerns approachable and engaging for all. Takeaway one, each person perceives the world uniquely, shaped by their experiences and values. Our attitudes towards money are heavily influenced by our personal experiences, despite them representing a small fraction of global events. Fear and uncertainty surrounding money are potent forces which cannot be replaced by mere knowledge. While we may believe we grasp how the world operates, our understanding is limited by our narrow experiences. For instance, different generations' encounters with the stock market shape their investment outlooks. Others may find our financial perspectives odd due to differing backgrounds, like low-income families spending on lottery tickets for hope. Financial planning, including tools like retirement accounts and index funds, is relatively recent, contributing to some of our financial missteps from lack of experience. Success isn't solely about hard work. Luck and risk also play significant roles. For instance, Bill Gates had access to a computer at his high school, influencing his path to founding Microsoft. However, luck and risk are inherent in life due to the world's complexity leading to unpredictable outcomes beyond our control. Instead of focusing on specific anecdotes, it's more insightful to observe broader patterns. For example, content individuals often possess control over their time and energy. Takeaway two. Here's a tale involving writers Vonnegut and Heller, known for Catch-22, attending a billionaire's gathering. They discuss wealth and contentment, with Heller valuing having enough over endless riches. Examples like Rajat Gupta and Bernie Madoff illustrate the perils of greed, emphasizing the importance of knowing when to stop in finance. Comparing ourselves to others fosters envy, while understanding the concept of enough helps prevent regret. Some things, such as reputation and love, aren't worth jeopardizing for more wealth, suggesting that sometimes the best move is to refrain from participating altogether. Warren Buffett's wealth isn't solely attributed to his investment prowess, but also to his consistent long-term approach. His success is linked to the solid foundation he established early on and his ability to sustain it over decades. The key to successful investing isn't necessarily about achieving the highest returns, but rather earning decent returns consistently over an extended period. This consistency allows for the power of compounding to work its magic over time. Takeaway three, there are various routes to wealth, but maintaining it requires a blend of frugality and caution. While acquiring money involves risk-taking and optimism, sustaining wealth necessitates humility and a fear of potential loss. Figures like venture capitalist Michael Moritz and author Nassim Taleb emphasize the need to avoid complacency and prepare for unexpected challenges. Developing a survival mindset involves striving for financial resilience, anticipating the unforeseen, and balancing optimism with a prudent approach to potential obstacles. Heinz Berggruen achieved success as an art collector, but his triumph wasn't solely due to financial acumen. Rather, it stemmed from acquiring numerous pieces of art, only some of which appreciated in value. This highlights the notion that exceptional outcomes often stem from rare, outlier events known as tail events. The risk capital concept in finance recognizes that while most investments may result in losses, a small portion can generate substantial profits and drive overall success. Similarly, only a fraction of businesses on the stock market experience remarkable returns, with the majority failing. Understanding this concept helps acknowledge that setbacks and failures are commonplace in the financial and economic realms. Takeaway four, 
The true value of money lies in its ability to provide individuals with the freedom to pursue their desires, spend time with loved ones, and live life on their own terms. This priceless capacity to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, and for as long as you want, is what truly matters. Ultimately, money's greatest inherent worth is its power to grant individuals control over their time. When we see someone driving a fancy car, our thoughts often revolve around how owning that car would enhance our image in the eyes of others, rather than appreciating the person driving it. This subconscious tendency reflects our desire to be perceived as affluent and admired by others. However, it's essential to acknowledge that people tend to focus more on the possessions themselves rather than the individual who owns them. Before we continue, we kindly request that you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Your support enables us to create more valuable content for you. Takeaway 5. An expensive car doesn't necessarily indicate wealth. Instead, it suggests that the owner's income before buying the car may have been lower. Wealth is defined by experts as financial assets that have yet to be spent. Becoming a billionaire often entails refraining from spending money, whereas aspiring to be a millionaire typically involves wanting to spend a million dollars. While wealthy individuals may possess luxurious goods and earn high salaries, true wealth lies in the ability to manage finances wisely, prioritizing flexibility, optionality, and growth potential. Being able to purchase what one needs when necessary signifies wealth. Once individuals reach a certain income level, they typically fall into one of three categories. Savers, those uncertain about their saving abilities, and those who believe they don't need to save. The importance of your savings rate outweighs your earnings or investment returns, similar to how the oil crises of the 1970s highlighted the significance of conservation over solely increasing supply. Growing wealth is achievable even with a modest income, but it's unattainable without a high savings rate. Embracing contentment with less money creates a gap between desires and possessions, providing greater control. Prioritizing flexibility and time over material possessions yields intangible returns as time and options become increasingly valuable assets. Therefore, focusing on personal values rather than societal expectations ensures financial independence and control over one's time. Takeaway 6. Instead of aiming for complete emotional detachment, it's better to strive for reasonableness when making financial decisions. Reasonableness is more sustainable and practical over time, which is crucial for effective money management. History demonstrates that the likelihood of accumulating wealth increases over time, highlighting the importance of adhering to long-term strategies despite short-term fluctuations. Over extended periods, positive returns become increasingly certain, with a 100% likelihood over 20 years, underscoring the significance of patience and consistency in financial planning. Scott Sagan's observation that historically unusual events don't always accurately predict the future serves as a valuable reminder of this principle. While studying history helps us understand trends and human behavior, it doesn't serve as a crystal ball for future events. Relying too heavily on historical data may cause us to overlook tail events or outlier occurrences with disproportionate effects. The unforeseen repercussions of events like 9-11 on the economy and student loan debt illustrate this point. The world is full of surprises, and predicting a future that deviates significantly from our past experiences is challenging. Therefore, we should be cautious anyone who claims to have precise knowledge of future events. Furthermore, Structural changes in the modern world may not have been adequately considered in the past, making recent history more relevant for understanding future patterns. In general, the more historical context we examine, the more broadly applicable our findings should be. Takeaway 7. In games like blackjack and poker, players recognize the role of probabilities rather than certainties. The optimal strategy involves preparing for potential failures by incorporating a margin of safety or redundancy. Unlike games with high risks like Russian roulette, where the potential reward doesn't justify the risk and can't be mitigated, financial planning necessitates readiness for unforeseen events. This preparation entails avoiding reliance on single points of failure 
and creating a buffer between expected and potential future expenses, such as through rainy day savings. Overall, being prepared for uncertainty is crucial in navigating a world governed by probabilities. Humans often struggle to accurately predict their future selves, frequently underestimating how much they will change over time. This phenomenon, known as the end of history illusion, poses challenges for long term planning and decision making. It's vital to acknowledge that priorities and desires evolve, meaning what's significant today may not hold the same importance in the future. Anchoring decisions to past efforts, referred to as sunk costs, can trap individuals in choices that no longer align with their evolving selves. Ultimately, recognizing the potential for change is essential in avoiding the pitfalls of anchoring decisions to past circumstances. Takeaway 8. Success in many financial endeavors requires understanding the price involved and being willing to pay it. While dollars and cents serve as the currency of this price in investments, factors like volatility, anxiety, doubt, uncertainty, and regret are equally significant, but may go unnoticed until personally experienced. Although many investors may struggle with handling losses, viewing volatility as a cost can change perceptions. Investing for the future necessitates a readiness to bear the temporary expenses caused by market fluctuations. Market bubbles often emerge when investors, influenced by others playing a different game, adjust their strategies accordingly. Short-term momentum tracks investors with shorter time horizons, leading to inflated valuations. However, these bubbles become harmful when long-term investors, originally playing a different game, start mimicking the behavior of short-term traders. It's challenging to acknowledge that other investors may have different goals as our psychology anchors us to our perspective. Thus, understanding the diverse lenses through which rational individuals view the world is crucial in navigating market dynamics. Takeaway 9. Pessimism often appears more intellectually captivating and garners more attention than optimism because humans are wired to prioritize threats over opportunities, as noted by Daniel Kahneman. Pessimists tend to overlook the potential for innovation and solutions to emerge in response to challenges. However, history demonstrates that humanity is endlessly innovative, responding to adversity with novel solutions. Progress typically occurs slowly through compounding, while setbacks and disasters can happen quickly and have significant impacts. Therefore, it's crucial to recognize that threats incentivize solutions and that economic history is characterized by both progress and setbacks, with growth prevailing over time. Humans have a tendency to believe stories that align with their desires, often overestimating their likelihood of being true. We all possess incomplete views of the world, leading us to construct narratives to fill in the gaps. Historian Little Hart notes that interpreting history requires imagination and intuition, with individuals often seeking evidence that confirms their existing beliefs. Hindsight bias can create the illusion of understanding and control, leading to errors in decision-making. Instead of accepting uncertainty, we tend to develop personal theories that offer psychological comfort. Psychologist Philip Tetlock suggests that we gravitate towards authoritative figures who promise predictability in an unpredictable world. Takeaway 10. Key lessons from the book include embracing humility and reducing ego in financial decision-making, understanding the distinction between wealth and riches, prioritizing peace of mind over material possessions, leveraging the power of time and consistency in financial planning accepting failure and risk as inherent parts of the journey, cultivating saving as a fundamental habit, and clearly defining the objectives and parameters of the financial game being played. The author's financial habits and beliefs include prioritizing independence in financial decisions, living within one's means, enjoying low-cost hobbies, opting not to have a mortgage for peace of mind, maintaining a cash reserve equivalent to 20% of assets for emergencies, emphasizing the importance of compounding and avoiding unnecessary interruptions, investing exclusively in low-cost index funds rather than individual stocks, advocating for dollar-cost averaging into index funds for most investors, prioritizing contributions to children's 529 plans and maximizing retirement accounts, and maintaining a straightforward financial portfolio 
consisting of property, bank accounts, and index funds. The author's strategy is centered on a high savings rate, patience, and long-term optimism. I hope these insights from the book will help improve your financial decisions and enhance your life. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Pile Investing, for more learning and growth opportunities. Until next time, goodbye.